So now we're working on the volleys today. On the volleys, we're working on um, the this, this split and keeping that elbow in front of their body so that the elbow's here. So if the ball, as it says, is coming over here, they don't take the racket and go like this to the ball. They take their feet, step out, so the elbow stays in front. Then it's hit land. And notice when I do that, my racket travels this much distance, but I'm not doing this with my hand and trying to swing. I'm using my legs to volley. So I hit land, and then right after the land, I go into my split, ready for the next ball. What this does is it helps my energy flow go forward. So when you start the volley, it's split, step out, hit, land, split. And notice now all my energy is going forward. In some of the video, you're going to see the girls were really moving well. Isabella, her feet were amazing today, and she was really driving through. The thing with Isabella, though, is she takes these little big, big swings. On the other end, Christiana is very good in here, very strong. Her feet have to be a little bit stronger and fluid as she moves through her volleys. On the backhand volley, with Isabella, we worked on this being turned so that the volley's not like this, but there has to be a lock in here. The left hand holds the head up. So I split again, I step out, and then I hit, make my volley, then go into my split. With Isabella, this lock was really nice. With Christiana, we used two hands with her, and she's actually in a two-handed volley. Her two-handed volley was so much more solid. Same idea, we split, step out, and right when it's on a string, I hit, land, go right into my split again. Is Christiana really has to focus on that last split going forward. Stop it. Okay, okay. we also worked on kick serves today, and we were working on tossing the ball behind her head, and keeping, I had the girls hold up high and keep it loose, loose. So when they're doing their kickers, the racket's loose behind their head. And then we had a little competition today. We're in one corner of the, we have two courts here. Pan for a minute and show how far it was. Way in the corner over there, pan back to me. So we worked on kick serves and from that corner, they had to hit him in the box. And we had a race to see who got the most. And today, I think Christiana won at six, six five. five. But Isabella was up 4-2 and had a chance. Today we played for five bucks. Christiana got it. She's a great sister. She might split it. <laughs> but they're going to do a double for nothing on a different type of thing. The most important thing is we had fun doing it, but we were working on the brush and the spin. They were getting great kickers, okay? So the key was also listening to that relaxation of the racket head speed. That's an exercise that's a lot of fun. I also talked about putting rackets down to make an area to hit into and it becomes fun again, okay? Good job. Okay. Rolling. Rolling. Okay, now the volley, the, the slice. We're working today on stepping and getting a quick turn and going to the ball. Now from the slice, you don't want to be high. The racket's at the same plane as the ball. The key to the slice is as I hit my slice, my racket face actually makes contact straight. And then as it makes contact, I cut under it. And then I stay sideways and I do like a superwoman or superman. So I gotta make sure Christiana, when she gets her slice, she likes to hit it one, to open where it flies up, and the second thing is she turns. And so when she turns, she loses control. When I do this turn, my rocket is actually going in this path. It's like a circle. When I hit the right slice, my body stays sideways so my rocket can cut through. And now I'm following the right plane of the ball. I'm not doing this and turning my body. 